I feel like um, I disagree with, like, it had to be with him not having a father. I feel like it was a lack of him having the right type of women in their life. Like, the first dude, I seen a whole bunch of childhood trauma. I seen a whole bunch of men because I have brothers like that. And they, my brother do they outside his race because I see how women in our race typically responds to him. And um, it just sounded like it was a whole bunch of childhood trauma because his mama didn't make him feel like he was that. You know what I'm saying? Like the same way you said it's your daddies that helped build your confidence. When my child's father passed, I promise you my right hand up to God, when he was alive, I felt like the best thing in the world. As soon as it happened, it was like an immediate disconnection. Mm -hmm. I felt worthless. I felt like I didn't have it. I didn't have it because he was the only person for me. So for them, I feel like it goes back to what they said they experienced with black women. Um, the second guy, I felt like he was attractive to me. I didn't see anything, not like I liked his hair. I liked the way he dressed. I liked the way he articulated himself. The first guy, you can tell he was a little bit more bitter. He wasn't, he really wasn't in tune with himself. So he was just like, I'm going to show anger even though I'm hurt. The other guy, he like, nah, I'm hurt because I've tried, but I haven't gotten the same thing. But when I started looking at, when I looked at, listened to the clip the second time, the therapist was right though. And that was her point in bringing two, two people together like that. Cause it seemed like she was also, you know, you know, holding the women accountable too, but she was right. They were starting to internalize it. They were starting it. And so much that that's all they became surrounded by, you know, that's all their interaction with black women. And they started to generalize black women. Like they said, black women generalize them. So. I, I think but then if their daddies were showing them how, you know what I'm saying, what that looks like, what a healthy relationship with a black woman looks like, how to make yourself desirable to black women. If they had that in their houses, they would be better off today. But they didn't have that, obviously, which is why the only person they had was their mother. They didn't have that masculinity to push back against her. And now they're bitter. Like, one thing for me, honestly, and I know people may not like this, like, if you ain't had no daddy, like, a daddy, then I'm like, I don't know. If your daddy went in the house loving on your mama and taking care of y'all, I don't know, because you haven't seen it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to come, in my opinion, um, Men who love their daughters and love their families produce families, you know. But if you are not there, then that boy child has to learn whatever from that woman and she can't teach him like that man can. So that's why I said I think it's a lack of fatherhood or not fatherhood, a lack of masculinity in that home. So with, with, with women, Thanks. we can start out when we're young, wanting to be in love and happy and and, and can't wait to be in a relationship. But as the years go by, this guy break your heart, the next guy break your heart, the next guy break your heart, the next guy break your heart, then you that produces a bitter woman. So why can't that be the same way with a man? If one black woman, you know, does this and that and talk about, like, look how you look at Pop the Balloon. They look at you up and down, they judge you and they tell you who you are just by how you dress. The thing about men, like women, we go by the trends. But men, they are themselves. Like, they dress like themselves. They're going to be themselves. But and some of them may not have all the fashion sense in the world, but they're still good people. But why is it that we, in the even in the family, got to say, I don't like how you look. Look at your clothes. Look at, like, we got to stop that as a culture. To stop that's self-esteem. No, you but can't control their mouth. The only yeah. person you can control is your own self-esteem. It don't matter what people say about you. If you know who you are, they can run their mouth as much as they want to because I've been married before. I've been in multiple relationships and I still love men. When I say I love them, I love them. Some women say I'm an independent woman. I don't need no man. I do. I need them. I need me and I love men. Um, so again, if you let that make you bitter, um, that's, that's okay. You know what I'm saying? We understand that those are emotions, but self-esteem start with self and you can't let somebody's mouth, dictate who you're going to be or how you're going to receive love or how you're going to receive companionship because you always going to run into assholes. It's 8 billion people. On what, if, what if it's 90% of them are a-holes? You see what I'm saying? I think that's the problem that... Have you interacted have. with 90% of them? I'm talking about women. I'm just saying in general. A so even if we just take our the tribe... Point, the point is that all the men are saying the same thing. They're saying there's so many women that are narcissistic, that are about, he just said you're about material, you're being materialistic, you're going, going on IG, we're following each other, we're not thinking for ourselves, 
and they're we're treating men poorly. You see how they treat them on TV and like from a cartoon, they treat Homer Simpson like like how? Like he's an idiot. All the men are idiots in this country and they don't know what they're talking about. That's how they it's going from the top down. And that's what black women are picking up on and they're treating their men that way. Okay, and like I said, my daddy was that dude. Okay, when I say my daddy was that dude, my daddy about to get a monument built of himself by the city of Chicago, okay? So he was that dude. High school, basketball star, frat dude, uh, th that dude, okay? So for me, that's what I know. Um, and so if I'm comparing him with my model to other men, a lot of times I tell people, man, you mediocre. You ain't getting nothing. You ain't starting no organization. You ain't organizing no people. Like, what are you doing other than posting on Facebook all day or post, posting on social media? But that doesn't necessarily mean that 90% of the men in the world don't meet that standard that's been set for me. You know, even my ex-husband, he spoke five languages, six to 190 pounds. You know what I'm saying? I tell people that's what I like. Um, but when I talk to people and they're like, oh, well, you don't have this and you don't have that. I'm like, you can't compete against what my, what I had. You can't compete against my standard. So again, I think that we focus too much on what other people think. If you focus in on yourself and loving on yourself, you're going to attract that love to you. And you're going to attract the people to you that you meet. And I may not be perfect, but you can get who and what you want based on what you're attracting and what you're putting out. But if you be bitter, that's going to do nothing but repel people away from you. You said something where you said that we're worried about what, what people are say, thinking about us, but the women are criticizing men, how they're dressing because they're so worried about how their girlfriend is going to perceive him. They let go of a good dude just because, you know, he don't dress the part, his hairline, not where it needs to be. Low he don't self-esteem. Job. He don't have that. Okay. That's on the woman. That's not on the man. Like, if that's your person, then that's your person. But if that woman it don't but, want to receive love from that man because of how he look and what she think her friends are going to say, she got low self-esteem. And again, that's not due to the society. We The society didn't raise her to have that low self-esteem. That's between her mama and that altar. Her, her mama is God. So if you can't say, okay, this brother, he got little short dress that, you know, he's trying to grow his dress out and he in the love, you know, the ugly face. Girl, no, nah, I don't want to bring him around. Why? Because you because you worry about what them other people are going to say because you have placed your value externally. And that is low self-esteem. We got to work well, on women have low self-esteem. Self so I, Hold on, yeah. Hold I just want to chime Wait. in a little bit on... Uh, I just want to chime, chime in a little bit on what um, P. Ray said. And it's like, even when you was describing, like, you're, you're you, like, he's 6'2", he's, you know, he he the shit, you know, he, he finna get a statue built of him, which means he got some type of swag, you know what I'm saying? And it's, you know, for a black man, you know what I'm saying? But if he's raised with a single mother and this and that, his style is going to be his style. He's not going to be what most women would see, what most black women would see, would seem and deem as attractive. And that's what she was saying. That's the issue. And he, and although you say it's not supposed to affect your confidence, just as a human, you're not human. If you deal with, with, when, you're not human. If 90% of the people you were going for and you're trying to date and, 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 this is back to him. He probably trying to date a woman that looks really good, but you could tell she needs some healing. She didn't probably have a dad. Even those women be setting expectations, but don't even come with what a woman needs to come with. So he's coming across these women, and just because they feel like they look a certain type of way, they turn him down because they're looking for somebody that's more like you described as your father and the man in your life. You know what I'm saying? They don't, you know what I'm saying? So his confidence as a human is going to be affected, but it sounds like he's doing well on his spiritual journey. Cause I guarantee you three to four years from now, that man, he is going to be more confident. He is going to realize, dang, I'm internalizing this. So now what I feel on the inside is starting to surround me. You know what I'm saying? But I do feel like, yeah, like I understand where he coming from because it's it's it, it is a lot. I be scared. I'm really at this point. I'm scared for my community because I can honestly say women weren't like this at first. It wasn't, but now when I'm seeing it and I'm talking to my friends and they're like, he needs to do this and needs to do that. I said, well, maybe you should just give him some little advice. Now I'm not doing that. What what he think I'm doing? Blah, blah, blah. What you there for? What you there for? 
You know what I'm saying? And they get and they oh well he needs to take me out and he and they setting these expectations and it's like and it's not even fair to some of these men because yeah, I might not have the confidence, but one thing I could tell you, men, they like you said, they love women. Like they love us. We're that happiness to their life. So yeah, his confidence is gonna be affected because we're the mission. And every time he go on this mission and every time he feel like he giving a woman what she needs and not just what the world's telling her she should have, he's being shut down every single time. Women don't believe what you just said. You said men love women. They don't believe that. 